recording. Okay, so today we're talking about volume, and we've got a couple of new things. We've got a couple of new things to talk about. So the first thing we're going to talk about is. Yeah. Oh, no, that's when I open the page. When I open the page. So prism. Right, so you use the volume. Okay, so any prism, triangular, circular, it's otherwise known as a cylinder, uh, rectangular, any shape, if you can work out the area of the base of the uniform cross section, right. if you can work out the area of the uniform cross section, then you can work its whole volume out. Simply multiply the face by its height. Okay, so in the case of say uh, triangular prism, V equals, so we've got half base height times, let's call it the length of the prism times L. And I'll do, do a diagram here. Yeah. The base. Okay, so if you got something like this. Got something like I believe it is. Right, so all right, so you got the base of the triangle, you're working in the area of the triangle with the height times its length, and that's what the volume is going to be. Okay, well, any prism, and I feel anybody who needs me to go through each individual prism part. You know how to work out the area of a figure, or plane figure, you know how to work out its volume. Okay, you just find you know its length, find its area of the cross section, and multiply together and you work out its volume, okay? It's still in the what we're going to talk about, we need to Talk about pyramids, cones, and spheres. Right, those are the three shapes that we need to be aware of how to work out this volume. So, without further ado. Alright, so first thing, let's talk about pyramids. Pyramid, you all know what it looks like. Square base, triangle. And it's important that instead of thinking about it as two separate things, I think it's most useful to think about it together. A cone is simply a circular pyramid. Alright? In all respects. And also the way you work out its volume. In all matters, it is simply that it's the circular version of the pyramid. So cone. Right, 
we just think of a, a cone as a circular base pyramid. That's it. Right. The way we work it out is also very simple. It's a very interesting phenomenon, if you like. Yeah, that's right. It's, it turns out that a pyramid is a third of the volume of the prism of exactly the same base and same height. Right. So if we talk about that. put it here. So V equals, this is volume of pyramid, equals one third A H. Which means, I put it there. So A equals area of face. H is the perpendicular height. H is the perpendicular height, A is the area of the base, and so if you manage one third AH, this is the way that you work out the volume of a pyramid or a cone. Okay? And you can actually try it out if you have a cone with a prism of the same base and the same height, fill it up with water and it will fit exactly three times into the You can pour three lots of the cone of the pyramid in. Great. Exciting. All right, so I'll do a couple of examples. Angle on the bottom, 20 by 25, so the perpendicular height of 50. So the volume of this is B equals one third times the area of the bottom, which is 20 times 25. Uh, they go up in huge. Times the height, which is 50. Which equals, can somebody work that out, please? 2,500. Let's say it's cubic centimeters. Okay? So you simply work out the area times the perpendicular height, multiplying it by a third. You're dividing it by three. Alright? That's what you're doing with this. Let me finish and then I'll show you what the score is. Okay. 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 Okay.
So it's pi times a squared times the height, which is 25. Right, this equals Okay, so just as long as you remember the principle of a pyramid, including cones, is one third the volume of the corresponding crystal, the same height and same shape. Okay. Now the final thing of this is that I want to talk about sphere. Does anyone know what the volume of a sphere is? It's just something you basically need to know. So 4 over 3 pi r cubed is the is the volume of sphere Okay. Let's say the radius of this square is 70. So B equals 4 over 3 pi times 70 cubed, which is a very big number. So that is, that's how you work at the volume of sphere. Alright, any questions about it? Yeah. Okay, so exercise 4.14 the one we're going to do. I'm going to stop the recording now.